recording. <laughs> you guys, you guys, we are welcome back to the channel and subscribe. We are we are chillaxing and we are, we got a bone to pick with y'all. Like no, for real, <laughs> no, seriously. Um, just step in and we're just gonna talk to you guys in general, just um about the session we came off of, and not really about a session, but it's just more of like you know how things get twisted in the body, you know. So I was saying saying to Kiahe, I never understand why YouTubers become so mean. You ever go to people's channel and they're like unsubscribe mm -hmm. get out of here mm -hmm. <laughs> there's plenty of other channels why are you here i leave <laughs> bye unsubscribe but, please this channel is not for you in fact i will send you to a channel that i think you should like <laughs> right I and mean, i was like yeah. i was like why are they so mean but now i understand because like coming off of this session right um we mm -hmm. um we work with apprentices we have apprentices in our apprenticeship program and we are training them how to develop their own specialized modality from at the 54 um and they are going to be licensing this modality that we are molding and creating for them. So last week we overlaid our technology onto them, like homeopathically laid it onto her. And then this week she was able to do like a very beautiful session. I mean, I'm talking, it was so beautiful, very healing. And um, I allowed myself to be the, uh, the, t the test person, I guess, um, <laughs> what rather spirit did. And, you know, my heart was everywhere. My heart was in my throat, right? My heart was in my arm. My heart was, mm -hmm. my heart was spilling over from my heart. And so, and I was like, I was telling Kiahe, YouTube did this to my throat chakra because it's like, you want, you want to come on here and you want to please everyone because you, you really are, you have the best of intentions, right? Um, but my heart is not to be in my throat, right? Your throat is to be your throat. Your voice is to be, I said what I said and I met what I meant. And if you don't like it, click the unsubscribe. Like that's just, now I understand why YouTubers do that because you guys come with a lot of energies. You guys are bringing energy to us. And a lot of the times, um, you know, if you're not strong, if you're not built for this, the energy can get quite negative and heavy and and uh, the whatever person is, you know, the YouTuber can take that on and it can make them unbalanced. And so y'all, I said what I said, okay? I said what I said and I'm not gonna bite my tongue and I'm not gonna mm -hmm. carry my throat in my, in my, my heart in my throat, right? And so mm -hmm. um, it was just very interesting. And then my heart was also in my hand, you know, through the session with our, our beautiful apprentice was able to spot that. It was very beautiful mm -hmm. because I'm writing a book and it's like, you know, I want to put my heart in it. Right. But it just goes to show you that like, we still have to be balanced, even though it's our heart chakra and it's supposed to be good. It's not good if it's not balanced. That's just the truth of the matter. It's, it's really not, but, um, yeah, so we were talking about dense energies, Kiahe, and how to spot what those mean. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to so elaborate beautiful. on that? Absolutely. So we work a lot with, with we bring in color therapy into our sessions. And, you know, as we, and I just wanted to speak to uh, your last point on, I said what I said, I said what I said when I said it and I meant it. The, this is This is a very powerful mantra. It is a mantra that I've used when I was strengthening my throat chakra and keeping my heart where it belongs and my heart, you know, my throat, because I actually blew out both of my thyroid glands when I was in the corporate world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I wasn't, you know, truly, you know, owning my voice on my, you know, sovereign I am path. I was still kind of dabbling, you know, half in, half out on my spiritual practice, spiritual business and corporate and so I said what I said when I said what I said when I said it and I meant it this is a powerful mantra so take that with you use it when you have to use it I'm very proud of you to hear it I'm very happy for you that you got to you know kind of see that reflection so we this can was deep that. this was so deep like this was just this was just very deep but you know what? I'm really just being called to just still talk about the throat and talk about, mm -hmm. I said what I said when I said it. And that's part of living the authentic path of the soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it definitely is because we're here to teach you guys how to live a life of true authenticity, how to stand as the giant of the soul. So in mm -hmm. this, in this last session, you know, 
I had to confront um, an energy that I helped remove from someone, right? And I knew exactly who it was and I knew when they came and I knew what they were trying to do. And it just goes to show you that have you really been doing the work? Because a lot of people, when faced with it, they will absolutely cower. And so this is why I love working with spirit and I love removing entities because we are truly above them. They will try to scare you. They will try to shake mm -hmm. you. They will try to send people your way and say, hey, you oh, shouldn't yeah. be talking to this spirit. Well, if you don't remove them, who will? Then we're going to have a bunch of cowards here on the earth and humanity will not evolve if no one stands a thousand up. percent and they're not they're not that like strong they're just they're there and i i don't know maybe hollywood the movies scary movies it, it like built up this persona that you know you have to be afraid of the dark and afraid of the dark entities and no uh, you are so much more right from that dark energy you know the womb the dark cosmic womb the cosmic womb is dark this is where all of your gifts and abilities grow and you have your own personal power all in the dark you guys so yep. you can actually see in the dark and you were actually birthed in the dark so do not be afraid and um yes definitely you know being aware and uh, self-aware definitely check in with your energy this is why uh we um talk a lot about spiritual practices right and that's that's just a way for you to check in always being able to check in with your energy so you know you become so familiar with your energy signature that whenever there's these little disturbances you can catch it right away and you can move it through and this has to be yeah. a daily practice it's right. a daily practice in these in these spiritual streets you guys you want to have a daily spiritual practice I don't care if it's just you know taking a bath, you know, for 20 minutes, you know, and consciously checking in or sitting and meditating, or some people can't even sit, you know, you can do, you can do just stretching, or I, I like to do headstands, actually. I like to do handstands. I like to go inverted because it like, it brings all the blood rush down to my head and okay. I can really do a nice energy scan on my body. Sorry to get off topic, but you know, this is, this is what's going to help you to, to spot these energetic disturbances these these gray black you know entities that want to come and just like you know live in your temple um sorry sorry not get your dusty sorry. bag get your dusty bag okay we be making out. fun we be calling them dusty and everything this and is the dust free get, era get, okay it is the dust mad. free era they get mad, but, um, you know, it is yeah. what it is, but, but no, it just goes to show you that like, when you know who you are and you know yeah. that you are vibrating, your child of the highest divine light, yeah. any negativity, any opposing energies, even, and a lot yeah. of people got opposing energy. It's not all the time, some foreign entity or alien attached, right? It's the person sleeping next to you at night. It's your best friend. Like this, Ooh. these are the real entities attachments, guys. These are the real, and these are even worse because they're physical, right? They can do way more harm and they'll do way more harm to you than any entity could ever do to you. It's the people in your life that you yep. cannot release. Let, and and they're you're letting them play in your heart, in your heart chakra. That's why this entity was sitting on your tonsils, on your throat chakra, but it, your heart was being affected. That's why you're displacing that heart energy into your arm, into your wrist. You know, it was it was like electrically being like displaced because you are letting these people in your heart and they're, they are, they have access. They have access to your heart. And, and, and this, this is, is why people, people guard their hearts, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. um, it's a very you know, this, this becoming a public figure, right? It's like, you want to be a public figure so you can help people, right? Because you have a big heart mm -hmm. to do so. But now it's like you, I'm understanding the boundaries, even with your heart. And it's so sad. It's so yeah. sad that you have to put up almost like a barricade mm -hmm. around your heart because your heart's supposed to be radiating and out here, but see, not everyone deserves the, the energy, right? Not everyone deserves the the infinite energy. Some people only deserve 
or can handle limited amount of energy. Because in truth, if you were to radiate your heart, your big heart out and give it freely to everyone, I guarantee you, because people have never felt that immense sort of love, they will, they will call it negative. Oh, so I feel this in my body good. right now. I'm getting, I'm getting riled up right now. You know, so I'm, the protection. I, yeah, I feel like a protective mama bear. You know, energy there's, and um, there's, you know, there's that's, some that's that's protection yeah, that's, between the people and the people and yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a huge, it's a huge energy to. This is not for the weak. Being being a public figure, it's not for the yeah. weak. Anyone you see up here and they can handle all of these energies, this is yeah. not for the weak because people are people people are cruel. You know, people are yeah. very cruel. And um, you know, protecting protecting yourself first is definitely key. Um mm -hmm. yeah. Land of the free, but only for the brave. Only if you are brave. And you yeah. truly be free. Yep. Absolutely. Abs abs absolutely. This. Yeah. So just some expectations, you know, when you guys come into your session, quantum mm -hmm. telekinetic, telekinetic reading with remote mm -hmm. healing. Guys, it's a reading. It's it's an hour session and it's a reading. It's a, basically a spiritual diagnosis, like a, like a blood work, spiritual blood work. Mm -hmm. What's going on inside of you, mm -hmm. outside of your auric field? Even, you know, you know, with different family members, if, if that pops up, you know, mm -hmm. um, whatever time is left, we do take the time to, to heal, do some energy medicine work, but guys, it is literally like, if you go to the doctor and then you say your head hurt, they're going to give you like a few tablets, right? Some Advil or something. What happens when you, when the tablets wear off, you need to either take another tablet or heal the issue completely. You guys are trying mm -hmm. to avoid healing. There's no way around you doing the work. No one's going to sit here and pluck out the impurities inside of you without you doing the work. So it, it's, it goes against the code of how this whole life is set up. What would be the purpose of you being here on earth if you just come to Hillers 247 just to remove your pain when you have done no work on yourself? So the difference between... And you can speak to this, Kiahe. Some people come in the session mm -hmm. and you could tell they've done the work and they're ready. Mm -hmm. And then other people, yeah. they've yeah. done no work and they expect to be just um, a magic, you know, fairy, fairy godmother to to heal them without them doing anything. Mm -hmm. And and they're, you know, I, I we get some, you know, some clients that come through here too that are literally like blocking. They are blocking the work from being done also energetically. So this is very confusing, yeah. you know, also it's, it's not, a, it's not fun and games. Like this is real, this is real work. You know, if you have our attention, if you're on our stage and you're in front of us and we're holding space for you, this is, this is our life's work that we're offering here. This is our life's work. We don't do anything else than this. This is, this is what we do. This is our lifestyle. This is what we believe. This is how we, we, in, we integrate all of this into our own lives. So uh, this time is precious and, you know, we welcome you in to share the stage with us and hopefully, you know, get you a, a proper diagnosis, spiritual diagnosis, you know, so we can guide you onto, you know, what type of healing sessions that, you know, you should be starting, right. you know, whether Absolutely. it's one more, two more, maybe it's a whole six weeks, maybe it's 13 weeks and beyond, you know, whatever it is, we will help guide you and, you know, give to you what it is that you're looking for for healing if healing is really what you want then this is where you want to be we are here for healing for healing okay like and real you, healing real healing not this fake kind of healing this is fun guys this is like you know this is an hour session and you, you guys seen our sessions and you know you've heard the people it it, it does work but it's mm -hmm. only going to be as good as your own healing because you guys are running high off of our codes right Right mm -hmm. now you have to go home and start to unravel, start to do the work, the clearing work, the diet work, the spirit is giving you guys diets and, you know, telling you what, how to clear, how to clear certain energies. Like you have to go home and actually do these things for, for things to be long 
lasting, right? We're going to tell you what it is. We're going to give you the rundown, the spiritual, you know, diagnosis. And mm -hmm. then from there, you know, well, when you were talking about the six weeks or 13 weeks, she's talking about our Ascension program. We have a six week Ascension program. <laughs> no, you're not going to be doing this for Sorry. six weeks, but that's for people <laughs> who want to actually be an enlightened one, right? You have to pay to be an enlightened one. You think that this is free? You think that me and Kiahe are here today because we didn't go through anything? The opposite. We're here today because we pulled ourselves out of the gutter. We pulled ourselves from some very tough situations. You have to become your own healer. When you become, when you heal yourself, that is when you know that you're ready to heal others. And until you do that, you will not step into this, this spiritual calling that a lot of you come to us because you are healers, but you must first mm -hmm. heal yourself. We can hold space for you, but you have to invest. Mm -hmm. We have this, we have a lot of beautiful women we're working with. We're hoping to get men too, you know, but we can hold space for you and we have all the tools, but we can't mm -hmm. do the work for you because this mm -hmm. is why you're here. You're here to become a consecrated vessel pure positive positive what how con he explains it better <laughs> pure a, a conduit for pure positive energy so that you become a consecrated space and where you put your foot down where you are standing that becomes a consecrated space you don't have to go you know to the temples or to the tops of the mountains or you know on these uh ayahuasca journeys and things like this I, you can literally become a consecrated space and so anyone who is standing in your presence will have 50 percent of their healing already done because of the work you've done this is how it is when you are Yep. doing the work and you are cleansed you're healed you're practicing and you're integrating you know we're here to guide you we're here to support you you know we will hear we will hold space for this we will give you tips and tools and guidance and then it's now time to practice right this is a practice too life yeah. life is a practice <laughs> but this is yeah. um this is your time to really you know stop hiring you know multiple therapists, practitioners, you know, going all over the place. No, yeah, we yeah. are going to bring you we back to your that. own soul. We're going to help you to call back all aspects of your soul. So you can become and tap into your own spiritual practitioner. That's the goal. Okay. Absolutely. So. I love that. And it's just like, just going back to like this journey that we had to journey, you know, me yeah. coming from religion, right? It's just such a stronghold, right? This is the yeah. biggest stronghold and the biggest game that has ever been given to humanity because you can't just say, I'm leaving. It's not as easy. I'm just walking out mm -hmm. of the church. No, you have been, you've had years. Some people have had 60, 70 years of it. conditioning. This is mm -hmm. priming. This is predatory is what yeah. it is. It's really predatory mm -hmm. when in truth, the the infinite source of all is all things. It's, it cannot be a mm -hmm. man. It cannot be a woman. Anytime you give it physicality, you give it a human attribute. You know, you are not at the top of the hierarchy. Because at the top of the hierarchy, I'm going to tell you what source is. And a lot of people don't know who this is. Source, infinite source of all is the empty spaces in between every living thing. Right. It supports, it just holds space for its creations mm -hmm. to exist. That's right. right. This is natural. This is this is how it feels to be source, is to be in all of the spaces. You are supporting life force energy. That's how you know you're tapping into source energy because you are now, you are now becoming just like source. And where where you see life, you're going to support life force energy and that's the only thing that you are going to be streaming through your consecrated soul pure positive vessel conduit for pure positive energy to flow through this is why we do the cleansing and the healing mm -hmm. so that you can now support life force and this is how you manifest you guys you want to know how this you know bank account goes up well your spiritual currency has to go up first that's that's how you get the scales up right so yeah. you can live in this world but you're not 
of this world of this world okay but we're going to teach you to navigate through this so that you can become the manifester of life force energy yes. anything where you know life force energy this is what source is and it's in between everything okay we Absolutely. have access to it at all times we have access so where is your head what are you seeing yeah this is beautiful and um i'm very pleased you know with uh everyone in our ascension program and our apprenticeship program and um yeah you know you guys are investing in yourself and that's the thing People think, you know, it's so weird. If people think you're going to, um, you, you'd be amazed what people email. Oh, I, I can't afford this. It's too expensive. If you keep saying that, you will never afford anything. Uh, baby girl, I will tell you, you will never be able to afford anything if you're thinking that way. Do you know how much money it takes, how much money that I've invested in myself personally? We've all invested. I mean, just especially if you're of a certain age, you have invested hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just think about since yeah. the time you've been a kid, you've been in school, you've went to college, you've taken courses, life mistakes, losing money through businesses. We, me and Kiahi, we have been through all that, pulling ourselves back up. And you guys complain about a couple of hundred dollars. Try try a couple of hundred thousand. Tell them. Tell and them, then come talk to us. Tell them. Seriously, you don't get to be you don't tell get them. to be this without investing in yourself. I didn't. I'm not sitting here today and doing this work because I spent five dollars on a course. I've been studying for the past twenty five years. I've I've had businesses. I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. I have to build myself back from you under build. the ground. This is, this is, but you keep going and this is, mm -hmm. you always rebuild you rebuild and you rebuild. If it falls down, you keep rebuilding, you, never stop. you know, yep. you never stop rebuilding never stop. and this, this is the difference. And so this, these people in our program, they, they invested in themselves and they, you know, and, and it's not even that to me expensive versus mm -hmm. all the money that, that we've spent and other people are charging, but it ain't about the fee. So it's about the currency, your currency. There's only one currency. It's your own purified energy. That's the only currency that there is. And so when you use that, it's like having an unlimited credit card, actually not credit card, debit card, right? That's line what of is. credit, line, line of credit, line of credit right? I got and, you. <laughs> and, and so, <laughs> and so this is what this is what, when you start to use this, it always comes back to you because it's your own energy. You always get what you put out. So when you use your own line of credit, your spiritual credit line, it always comes back to you. And so that's just the mindset to have. And this beautiful woman who invested herself, and you guys saw her on here. Um, she, um, we posted her QTH, um, quantum telekinetic, telekinetic healing video, mm -hmm. um, man, she's going to be a powerhouse. We're going to have her here and we're training her to, mm -hmm. to do this session. So if you guys would like to learn, if you think you mm -hmm. have what it takes and you want to learn how to, how to hold these quantum telekinetic, you know, healing sessions, readings and healings, mm -hmm. then you can email us uh, book at the I T H a 54 at gmail.com. Um, you guys mm -hmm. also know you can reach us too at instructions number four humanity at gmail.com. And uh, please subscribe to the channel at the 54, um, at the 54 on YouTube, at the 54 technology, technology. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, we um, we're very pleased and we're gonna we're gonna have showcase you guys the ones that make it out of our program, mm -hmm. and we feel that it's edifying for to bring to you guys, and we'll definitely be bringing a few of our apprentices very soon, and they'll be doing these sessions. And trust me, they are just as good as us. Mm -hmm. um, we've spent a lot of hours with them. We put everything we have into them. So just to let you guys know, it, when you sign up for our apprenticeship program, you have to be invited into that. Not everyone you have to be invited. You know, we have to see something inside of you because you are, you know, we have to see that you are a, a energy, you know, worker, you're a quantum healer, you are a healer, you are mm -hmm. a spiritual counselor, you know, all of these things and, and, and source will, will guide us. So the first session is always, 
our healing session that, that me and Kiahe offer. It is a quantum healing session, quantum hypnosis session. So when you guys come for your your uh, reading, your quantum telekinetic reading with remote healing, we are giving you some energy medicine to make you comfortable where you can feel how it works, right? But when we want to do the deep removals, especially if you have a bunch of entities and you just have not really been doing much work on yourself, you got layers and layers. Mm -hmm. So this, the first session it is a few hours. It's minimum around three hours. Sometimes it takes four, five hours. I've even seen it take six hours before. But the beauty about having uh, Kiahe there as well is because me and her have the telekinetic ability. So if you guys get stuck in the experience, because it starts off with the past life and through the past life, we're able to start to heal layer by layer. This is all the things that we are finding in the sessions that will start to come off now, because guess what? You're doing the work. There's no way around you not doing the work. If you don't do the work, whatever's removed on you will just come back. You have to actually do the work and be ready to release it. So you're able to see this under hypnosis. You're able to see what happened. Why did this have to happen? What past life? Where's the, what, what wounding do I have? And you can make the decision. Do I want to release this? There's no way around you guys not doing the work, but that's the first session that removes deep removals. Now we can start to work from a clean slate, right? And then we take you through six weeks, you know, of just sessions, a hypnotherapy session, and then a session with Kiahe integrating all the beautiful things we're learning and also energy medicine work as well. And by the time, man, people are clearing. I mean, I'm seeing people like come, come in like this. And by the, even the third week, they're just so bright, right? Kiahe? It looks like they've had an electrical energetic facial. Their hearts are beaming. Their eyes are sparkling. They look at least minimum 10 years younger. Yep. I mean, it is life-changing. They are so beautiful. And that's what happens when, you, when you're ready to release and heal and grow and expand. Right. And step right. onto this, this path that is designed for you and only you. You're the only one that can do this work for yourself. No one else can heal you. You know, you're going to really have to choose yourself. And I know that's scary for some people because they're so used to putting everyone else, you know, on that, you know, pedestal of their lives. But it's, it's time for you to take that seat now. You have to become that main character in your own life. And if you are I'm ready, sorry. a lot of you are, I know you are. So yeah, it's good this work. We're so beautiful. proud. We're I'm so, so proud. proud. And I was a serenade. I'm so proud of Lee. I'm so proud Lee, of Lee. We love this, Lee. Like, cause we're just, we're just coming off of this session and I'm proud of all. I'm, I'm literally, I'm yeah. literally proud of, of, of everyone yes. in the program. And I mean, there's, there's even been people we've had to do some heavy removal. So we might have to spend mm -hmm a few of the sessions just to do the removals, but this is the beauty about yeah. it because we have to get to, and to, to clean slate, you know, yeah. to, to start to build from that point. Right. And, yeah. um, rub the cobwebs are... from deep in the subconscious, get all the cobwebs out. Yeah. You know, we go into all, you are going into all those spaces that you just kind of, stepped over for decades right you now we we cannot step over our our boxes of whatever we put in those boxes <laughs> i mean there's i don't want to say because some of it is like icky but you know we have to we have to unpack mm -hmm. it and get it out and that way you're going to feel and look amazing right and then you can share this gift with everyone else so it's um, definitely yeah it's, it's beautiful. beautiful work it's very beautiful work so so when you guys come in for the session don't come in with your armor right don't come in mm -hmm. trying to test our abilities this, that ain't this girl I know who I am and I know my abilities and they they're a one right mm -hmm. so don't come in that you're not going to get Spot the most on. out of the experience and some of y'all if y'all a hybrid or a clone girl just say that 
please. <laughs> I mean, don't come in here acting like you a real person up in here. We're going to know. <laughs> it's like, Check the box. Check the box that says alien. Yes. Clone, <laughs> hybrid. All of the things. Hybrid. Um, <laughs> like, just tell us. Like, we're going to know. Like, why even, like, no, no I'm joking, but, but I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> We, we really don't discriminate. And that's the beauty. And, and just going back to like religion, right? And it's so weird because this is supposed to be the place, right? That um, is so loving, right? But in truth, they are the ones that discriminate the most. Because think about it. What we're doing, we're open to everyone. We I even want to work with people who are religious because not everyone learns from a mystic. Some people will only learn from having the rigid of, you know, of that, you know, of what they grew up. I want to open this to everyone because we need all people in the world, all over the world to hold space for people. And there's all sorts of different people. They're in different timelines and they're, they're in different energies, you know, mm -hmm. and we need everyone. But when you go to these religious houses that are supposed to be so loving and accepting, it's really just a bunch of isolation. I've, I've had a lot of run-ins with, I want to say these people, but it's, it's really quite sad because it's very, very sad. Be it's sad. Sorry. It's very sad because what, what, what you are designed to be is the living word, the yes. living word. When you are present, you are conscious, you are healed and you are on your sovereign. I am path you become and i'm getting chills up and down my body right now and my angels are touching me you will become the living, living word. word what comes out of you will come from the highest source that needs to deliver that unique message to whoever is speaking to you this is how it works right this is why you know a lot of i started thinking am i am i a psychic everybody was saying you're a psychic how did you know how did you read my mind you guys i didn't start reading minds i was just present healed and becoming the living word whatever would hit my mind I knew it was a quantum drop because I know my energy and I know what a quantum drop is versus a monkey mind thought right and a program an old program that's running like I I move those to the side I'm allowing the quantum drops in and what hits my throat is a message for you for whoever it is that I'm speaking to and this is a divine message this is how we are designed to do. It's not, you know, I'm not putting Bibles down or anything like that, but you can become the living word. This is this is by design, you know, and we know about this. We know prophets that came and figured that out, you know, and they're pretty famous ones like Jesus, you know, <laughs> they're pretty famous for doing this. So this is what yeah. we, we, we want to remember, you know? Yeah, this is, um, this, this, um, this work, you know, it's, it's not for the week. It's a, um, I'm getting this feeling in the bottom of my stomach right now. It's a really set mm -hmm. apart work. And this work can be very isolating. And in truth, mm -hmm. you do have to go through an initiation process with spirit, mm -hmm. with source, you know, yep. and you will be isolated. I went through years of isolation, feeling alone, but this was the time when I was sharpening my skills, right? I needed to be in that space, right? And um, just today, it just makes me realize just how far I've come and just how much humanity needs to learn about their own soul mm -hmm. and about their sovereign soul, really their sovereign soul, because mm -hmm. we have a soul that is captive, when you're mm -hmm. here on the earth school, you have a soul that's captive. But the hope is that you wake up to the sovereign soul. And that is where your journey, your true journey starts, right? In that energy of, of the sovereign soul. And um, it really just makes me understand the isolation is part of getting to the sovereignty, right? And so... I know you guys say you want to be healers, but I just need to let you guys know that this is the path of a healer. It is a lonely path. It's a path of um, not just dedication, but perseverance and um, 
standing alone because in truth if you are to heal people and heal yourself you have to do it alone no one can no one can walk the plank for you you know you need to carry your own energy to stand in your own energy to own your own energy without feeling the need to put it on someone else or take someone else's energy no it's learning to hold yourself in your own energy knowing that this is where all things that you need are within your own energy and there's a rawness to to showing up authentically there's a rawness you know when you start you know reading from a script you know a lot of people like they they've created these characters that they've scripted and they're kind of on repeat every day this is this is what we we are wanting you to to stop to break out of this script of your life and and these limiting beliefs that, you know, you are your work, you are your job, you are, you know, whatever these limiting, isolated things are. We, this rawness, I'm just really being drawn to this word raw, you know, becoming just live and raw, this living word, this rawness, this beautiful spirit that is just free and open and receptive and creative. This is inspiring. And this is, this is how, when you hold your energy, this is what fuels you now. You understand you are going to represent, this is how we push through. This is how we evolve, you know, is to get out of these this script. And I just love this rawness that I'm picking up on here. When we work with our, our um, apprentices, I mean, it's just, it doesn't take long. What, what, one, two, three weeks later? And it, it's like, it's, yeah. she was so natural. It was just something like, she felt like she's been doing her whole life, you know, because those memories are there. There's, you have, you have God consciousness in you, you know? And so once we remove all of that, that baggage and that, you know, just life, life is, <laughs> this is, this is the earth's cool it is it's like it's 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 a lot but a lot. we can we can navigate through this and we can get back to our soul essence and we can walk in this beautiful sovereign energy where it is consistently being renewed and it's infinite there's infinite refueling here exactly so, and and religion cannot they it cannot teach you this the the church no. and i'm not down it, it you can never give you this because we are to recycle our own energy and in religion you are holding your hand waiting for someone to give you energy if you're waiting mm -hmm. to get handouts for energy you're gonna mm -hmm. this is you, this means you don't have the life force energy that the divine source has given to you already you already have it there is no one can give you anything external. This is why I said you guys have to come in here to want to do the work. We're going to hold the space. You got to do the work. You have to invest in yourself with your time, right? Your resources. But that's why you use the, the infinite currency, which is your own purified energy, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. it's never ending. It's always flowing, right? So um, anything you're trying to receive from outside of you, it ain't real. It's not real. Everything is all within. You were born here. You came in with all the codes and mm -hmm. you gave them away. Through every time your mother said, don't do that. Or your dad said, you're an idiot. Or, you know, then mm -hmm. this person. Who do you think you are? And, yes. And, all, mm -hmm. and start to slander you. Then you start to give your sovereignty. You give your codes up. You give your source codes mm -hmm. up. So when you guys come in this session, this is what we work with. We work with source codes. We're going to fill you back up with those yes. codes, guys, but you have to continue the work. We have all the tools. We have mm -hmm. all the programs. We have all the healing protocols that we can give to you guys and, and help you on your journey, but you have to show up and have to be willing to put that ego down and forgive. So many people mm -hmm. will not forgive people in their life that I don't care what someone has done to you. Forgiveness is for yourself. It's a gift from the divine. You cannot be an enlightened being without the gift of forgiveness. You can't. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to end with that yeah. one. Do you want to say anything Absolutely. else? I love that. And we can forgive and love 
from a distance. Yes. Yep. And yes, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful message today. I'm really feeling it in my heart. This yeah. um everything that we've created so far. It's been such a beautiful journey with you here to here. Thank you for being my sister and bringing this to life. This is thank you. This has been the most exciting project that, you know, we get to bring to you. So I hope you enjoy yeah. everything we create and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. That's for everyone. Subscribe guys. Subscribe <laughs> and email to book your own um, quantum telekinetic reading with remote healing. Book at the 54 at gmail.com and we'll see you. Bye. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. Mm-hmm. <laughs>